Okay, so Raspbian got updated recently, and uh, if you've got Raspbian on your micro SD card and you're running the latest update to the firmware, uh, you can actually just put your card straight into a micro SD adapter and it will boot from that. You don't actually need to do anything to the file. So you can see here, this is Raspbian running from a 64 gig A2 SD card. So if I shut that down, wait for the green light to stop flashing, I pop that card into the SD adapter. So this is a, an integral USB 3.1 adapter. I can now pop that into my Pi, unplug, plug back in, and without changing any files, it will automatically detect it on USB boot and just boot up. Now this, I think this only works for Raspbian for now. Uh, it may start to work for RetroPie soon and LibreOlec, but uh, this is the test version of Raspbian. There you go. So 64-bit Raspbian running directly from USB. Okay, so now I'll switch over to screen capture. So yesterday's test was uh, A1 versus A2 SD cards and interesting results. The Magix card pretty much held its own uh, and there was not an awful lot of difference between the two. It's still worth it if you want that extra bit of speed and also it depends on the price because sometimes you'll find that the A2 cards aren't that different in price to the A1 rated cards. And as I found with uh, NetAC, the performance is actually very poor on the 32 gig cards and they shouldn't be marketed as A1 cards. So here's my test yesterday. So the SanDisk 64 gig Extreme A2 card, which is in my Pi, uh, which as I mentioned yesterday, uh, I did have running in a GoPro, so it's not a new card, but I don't think it's, it's certainly not been hammered as a card. So I wouldn't expect it to have much performance degradation. So let's do a speed test on that from USB. Go into Diagnostics, hit Run Tests. Okay, so that's passed, which is good. So let's copy that data over to my document so we can compare it side by side. Okay, so let's have a look. So the sequential write speed is way, way quicker. And that's what you'd want from a USB adapter. The fact that you're writing files to a USB adapter, you'd want it to be fast. Actually, the random write speed is quicker as well. Uh, so 935 goes against 894, uh, but the random read speed is slower, 1733 to 2077. So I don't really know if that's an advantage or not. In, in operating system terms, I'm guessing the read speed would be very important for most things. So I'm gonna say you're probably better off, depending on what you're doing, um, but you're probably better off to be using the SD card slot in the case of this SanDisk Extreme. So let's save those results and boot up with the Kingston card. Okay, so I'm now on the Kingston card uh, in the USB adapter. So let's run that same test. And hit run. And show log. And let's copy that over to the main document. So what have we got? Let's get rid of all this. So sequential write speed is really fast, 75,069. Uh, so if we compare that to the SanDisk in the USB adapter, uh, that's another nearly 10,000, 9,000 or so uh, more. So random write speed is again much quicker than my SanDisk in the adapter. 1622 goes against 935. And uh, random read speed 2653, again very respectable, uh, against 1733. Uh, so definitely the Kingston has been better in this test, but bearing in mind it's a brand new card and the SanDisk Extreme has been used in my GoPro. Uh, not loads and loads, um, but uh, but it has been used in it, so it's not a, a true fair test. But what we can test is the difference between using the SD card in the SD card slot and using it in the USB SD adapter. So uh, definitely way quicker on the sequential read speed, more than double. Uh, the write speed is faster. So 1622 versus 1521, uh, but the read speed again isn't as good. Now this could be this particular adapter. So when you buy a USB adapter, USB 3.1 adapter for your SD card, you're usually just copying things from your digital camera or your uh, mobile phone SD card over to a computer. If that's the case, then actually it's better to use it in this USB adapter 
than using the SD card slot. But then on the Pi, you're using the SD card slot to run an operating system. So really, the read speed is going to be the most important uh, for launching apps and running apps. It's it's going to be fast. So really, the, I think the random read speed is, is probably the key one in running an operating system. There are going to be some circumstances, and people can leave a comment as to what they think would be more beneficial in using the USB adapter rather than the SD card slot. But uh, you can achieve a lot faster speed through USB. So if I put my, so this is where I think it's more interesting. Uh, so this is my Kingdian SSD, and uh, this is a 60 gig SSD. And you can see the sequential write speed blows away everything in this score. So 90,000 goes, the fastest you can get on the A2 cards is 75. Uh, the random write speed, 7,779, uh, and here we go. Uh, so the fastest we've got on here for write speed is 1,622, so way, way faster on the SSD. And the random read speed as well, so 4,041. Uh, well, the closest we got with the Kingston was in the SD card slot at 3,621. So overall, the SSD definitely better. For running an operating system, that A2 card, that Kingston card still comes out well. But, uh, but I would say, considering this SSD cost me £13.39, I think I paid £14 something for this 64 gig Kingston card. So really, even a cheap SSD uh, is going to significantly outperform an SD card. So I would say SSD really all the way. Uh, I have ordered some more cheap SSDs. I managed to find a 32 gig one for about £12 and that's coming today so I'll be doing some tests on SSDs but uh, and you can get way faster scores. I've had some incredible scores uh, posted on my uh, comment section and uh, for a USB stick I think it was a SanDisk one but it was 70 quid for a 128 gig stick. So it depends what you need it for. I mean if you're running it all the time do you really want to pay £70 for 128 gig? Uh, I'd rather pay uh, for SSD prices. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.